Hi, I'm Dr. Cindy Pang and I'm a doctor uh, who looks after women with gynae cancers, meaning I'm a gynae oncologist and today I shall share with you about cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is cancer involving our cervix. A cervix is where the womb opens up and is actually inside the vagina. So when cells turn bad down here, we call it cervical cancer. The underlying reason behind cervical cancer in over 90% of cases is human papilloma virus. This is a virus that's contracted by skin-to-skin -skin contact and is usually transmitted by sex. To get cervical cancer, you need to get infected by the virus, which means that you need to be sexually active. The symptoms are usually firstly irregular bleeding and vagina discharge because those cells start discharging and this is out of the cycle which means that when you're not having menses, you bleed or you have discharge. Typically, it can get worse after sex so we call it post-coital bleeding whereby after sex, after the friction, you have more bleeding from the abnormal cells. Some people may get pain from the back, all right, from the pressure of the tumour, pain during intercourse when the tumour is being uh, moved around and the worst case is that if the tumour eats into the bladder or towards the back, towards the intestines and presses on it, it can cause problems urinating or even pressure when passing uh, motion. The worst case is when there's swelling of the legs whereby the tumour goes sideways and it affects your blood vessels because the neck of the womb is just next to your major blood vessels here and uh, if it's compressed, your water circulation in the legs becomes worse or if the limb nodes are affected, water circulation gets worse and you get swelling of the legs. Cervical cancer is the most preventable gynae cancer because there's a pre-cancer phase which you can screen for. So cervical screening is a routine test performed on women without symptoms because pre-cancer do not have symptoms. We normally recommend doing a pap test every one year to three years and um, now we do have the advantage of doing HPV testing because uh, testing for the virus will give us a higher accuracy as to whether or not there will be cervical disease disease in future. If you don't have the virus, the chances of you developing pre-cancer on the cervix in the next three years to five years is very low. In fact, if a lady goes for HPV testing, HPV screening, they can actually lengthen their, their um, time interval between the cervical screening, which means that they can do the screening every three to five years. So cervical pre-cancer is after infection by the virus. 70% um, of women will get infected by the virus in their lifetime. But only 10% of them can develop pre-cancer, which eventually, if left unchecked, can go on to cancer. So cervix pre-cancer is found out after you have tested uh, to have an abnormal pap smear. We use a corposcopy, which means a magnification of the cervix. And we apply certain chemicals on the cervix so that we can see what is the degree of abnormal cells. You see the white parts are abnormal. And from there, we decide whether or not we want to do a biopsy to diagnose pre-cancer. If you have pre-cancer CIN 2 or 3, we perform further treatment. Either we laser it away or we cut away the abnormal area. By doing so, we eliminate the chance of these abnormal cells going on to become cancer in future. So this is called primary prevention. So secondary prevention we discussed earlier is by screening, which means after you can potentially get infected by the virus, you go for screening. But uh, Vaccination will be primary prevention, which means that we should get it to you before we get infected by the virus. So HPV vaccine to me is cancer prevention because there's no other cancer that's so closely associated with a virus infection. The virus can cause cancer once you are infected by it. So ideally is that we give the vaccine to patients before they get sexually active. If a patient gets diagnosed with early cervical cancer, surgery is still an option because um, early cervical cancer means that the cancer is still at the neck of the womb and has not have any spread to the sides. Surgical treatment means that we remove the cervix with the surrounding tissue around it and a lot of times that means removing the womb together with the cervix and the tissue around the cervix and also clearing the lymph nodes at the side. This is termed as a radical hysterectomy. If the cancer has spread, however, means those stage 2b and above cancer, all right, um, they will be not suitable for surgery because there are a lot of vital organs in front and behind and to the sides of the cervix. It's a very narrow area. So for those patients, they require chemotherapy with radiation therapy rather than surgery itself. Usually, the uh, radiotherapy and chemotherapy takes about uh, two to three months to complete in total. So for stage one survival cancer, the survival rate is over 90% if adequately treated. So in fact, if possible, don't get cervical cancer treated in stage one. You should get it treated when it's in the pre-cancer stage because this pre-cancer stage can occur from five years to 10 years. You have plenty of time to get it um, screened and treated when it's at pre-cancer stage. 
Cervical cancer is the most preventable gynecological cancer. Primary prevention means that you get vaccinated on time before you're sexually active. Secondary prevention means that you get your regular cervical screening either in the form of pap smear with or without your HPV human papillomavirus testing.